Lesson 10.7 Elapsed Time Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes between the start of an activity and the end of the activity. We can solve elapsed time problems by converting units of time. We can use multiplication or division and a relationship like one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Then we add or subtract units of time. We can use a table of units of time, a number line, or an analog clock to solve problems that involve elapsed time. We may need to find a start time, end time, or elapsed time. So here we have a table of units of time, and here we have an analog clock with an hour and minute hand, and a digital clock. The battery for Tala's game lasted for 320 minutes before it ran out. How many hours did the battery last? So we think we need to convert 320 minutes into hours and minutes. There's going to be minutes left over. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. We can divide and do 320 minutes that the battery lasted by the 60 minutes per hour. 60 fits into 320 five times because 60 times five is 300. We subtract and get a 20. That means we can use this 20 remainder as the minutes. It's five hours and 20 minutes that the battery lasted. We can use the remainder 20 as the number of minutes because we would have 20 sixtieths, which would be one third of an hour, which is equal to 20 minutes. Emma trained her dog to do tricks. It took three days to teach give me paw, two days to teach down, eight days to teach roll over, and 12 days to teach peekaboo. How many weeks and days did it take Emma to teach her dog these tricks? So we think, first we need to total the days. We add three plus two plus eight plus 12, and eight plus 12 is 20, and five more, that's 25 days. And there's seven days in one week. We convert the days into weeks and days. 25 days divided by seven days per week. Seven fits into 25 three times because seven times three is 21. That leaves four left over. That's four out of seven. That's four days out of a week. That's four days. It took three weeks and four days. We can use a number line to find elapsed time. A movie started at 1.30 p.m. and was two hours, 10 minutes long. What time did the movie end? So we have a start time of 1.30 p.m. and we know it was two hours and 10 minutes long. On our number line, we start at 1.30 p.m. and we jump 10 minutes. And that brings us to 1.40 p.m. Now we have to jump two hours. From 1.40 p.m. to 2.40 p.m. is one hour. Then to 3.40 p.m. is the second hour. We count the 10 minutes, then the two hours. So the movie ended at 3.40 p.m. Be very careful when switching between a.m. and p.m. If someone went to sleep at 10 o'clock p.m., then slept for nine hours, from 10 o'clock p.m. to 12 o'clock a.m., that's midnight, that's two hours of sleep. To get to nine hours total, we need to add seven more hours. So from midnight, adding seven hours, that would put us at seven o'clock a.m. when they woke up. Now, I have links in the description to a time and clock playlist. If you're very rusty and you don't remember about clocks, and you can click the description to check that out. A.M. stands for anti-meridium that is Latin for before midday. It's a Latin phrase. PM stands for post-meridium. That means after midday. We can use a clock, an analog clock, to find elapsed time. It's telling us that the start time is 2.25 PM. The elapsed time is one hour, 30 minutes. So we need to add this time to the start time to get the end time. And the minute hand moves 30 minutes. It goes from 225, and if it moves 30 minutes, it's gonna go halfway around. It's gonna be pointing to the 11. That's the 30 minutes. 
That's 2.55 p.m. Now we add one hour. That brings us to 3.55 p.m. for our end time. We can find a start time. Sophia spent three and one-fourth hours at a party on Saturday afternoon. And the party ended at 4.45 p.m. What time did the party start? So think, each one-fourth hour is 15 minutes. So we could subtract 15 minutes from 4.45 p.m. That would bring us to 4.30 p.m. Now we need to take away three hours because we're trying to find the start time, so we need to go back in time. 4.30 minus 3 hours is 1.30 p.m. when the party started. Here we're missing the start time, but it's giving us the elapsed time, the time that passed, and the end time of 10.15 p.m. And we can work backward on a number line. We count back minutes, then hours. So we're going to start over here at the end time of 10.15 p.m. We can take away this 15 minutes on the 10.15. That'll put us to 10 o'clock p.m. But we need to take away 20 minutes. So we go back five more minutes. That'll put us at 9.55 p.m., five minutes before 10. We need to take away 14 hours so we can jump a 12-hour increment to a 9.55 a.m. So we went from p.m. to a.m. because we went back 12 hours. Now we can take away another hour, then our last hour, which puts us at 7.55 a.m. We've gone back 14 hours and 20 minutes. That means our start time is 7.55 a.m. How many minutes are in 12 hours? Well, there's 60 minutes in one hour, and we've got 12 of them. So we can multiply 12 hours times 60 minutes. And we find that it's 720 minutes in 12 hours. Now, how many seconds are in 12 hours? So we think we can use our answer from this previous problem to help us, because we now know how many minutes are in 12 hours, and one minute is 60 seconds. So we can multiply the 720 minutes times 60 seconds to find that it's 43,200 seconds. We needed to multiply by 60, then by 60 to find the seconds. We needed to multiply by 60 to turn it into minutes, then by 60 again to turn it into seconds because there's 60 seconds in one minute. We can find elapsed time by making a horizontal or vertical number line. Our start time is 10.37 a.m. We do not know the elapsed time, but we know the end time is. So because we have to go from a.m. to p.m. and it looks like there's a big difference, we're going to count one hour increments until we get close to the end time. We start at 10.30 a.m. We go one hour. We're at 11.37 a.m. When we go one more hour, we're going past noon and the clock is going to change to p.m. We go one more to 1.37 p.m., 2.37 p.m., 3.37 p.m., 4.37 p.m. We're getting close to 4.49 p.m. And we can either use subtraction to find the difference between these two, or we can count on to find that it's a 12-minute difference. That means we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hours and 12 minutes as our elapsed time. So we can use the number line horizontally going across this way or vertically going up and down, whichever is easier for us. So remember to be very, very careful about AM and PM. You don't want to make a mistake and write the wrong one. We're finished with chapter 10. We're moving on to chapter 11, which is all about geometry and volume. We're going to learn about polygons and triangles and quadrilaterals and two-dimensional and three-dimensional figures. Hit the like button for me, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.